well. Uh, they shot the ball very well. Uh, you know, I thought our guys competed. Uh, obviously, we gave some, you know, had some breakdowns defensively and enabled them to get some open looks. But they got they got 17 second chance points in the first half. Um, uh, I don't I don't know if you know this is 19, but they had 17 in the first half. And a lot of broken plays. They scored a lot of broken plays. That's why their field goal percentage is so high. Uh, you know, they only had 11 offers rebounds, but I bet they converted on every one of those they got. Um, you know, uh, we scored 30 points in the paint, uh, more than they did, but we, we still struggled. We got to figure out a way to get to that free throw line. We got to figure out a way. I don't know what else we can do. We team throw that ball inside to Reggie, keep driving that ball, but somehow we got to get to the free throw line. Questions? Frank, how about the mood at halftime? I know the TV interview said that. You just got to keep playing hard, but the last two and a half minutes of the first half, they made a little bit, not real dramatic, but a little bit of a run. What's the difference in the game? Tim, it was a 9 0 run, and that, that was, you know, losing my 10. That was the difference in the game. I think that, you know, Duke's one of those teams that go on runs, and uh, I thought we, you know, during that time, they, we turned the ball over. We didn't turn it over much, but during that stretch, we turned the ball over, and we, did, we didn't score, and they, you know, we had a, I think we had a three point lead or a two point lead, and we ended up being down five. Uh, so, uh, but we turned the ball over, and then they got second chance points. Kelly gets that tip in there at the end too. Nolan Smith, that second half was, was big for them. He's done doing. You talk about that a little bit. Yeah, he got going. And obviously, we did a pretty good job on him. He got in foul trouble early in the game, as did Malcolm. I thought Malcolm was going to have a great game too. But both those guys got settled two fouls, and uh, uh, you know he played like the All American he is in the second half. Curry really kept them settled. Yeah, when, when Nolan was out of the game. Is it tough when you prepare so much for Nolan that he sits out nine and a half minutes and, and kind of have to adjust on the fly what you're doing with the team? I thought we gave Curry some open looks, Tim. I thought we, we did. We, our defense was not on point like it needs to be as a team like Duke. We know he's a great shooter. He get a couple threes there in the first half. And, um, you know, he hit fourth the game. And I think we, we, you know, he's coming off a 22 point performance. So we knew. Uh, he was a key guy we had to stop, but it, you know, I thought he got some more moments. Like you said the other day before the game that uh, the Singler and Smith are going to get their points, but you had to control the other guys. How do you feel like you did on that end? Well, we didn't do what we needed to do, obviously, to win the game. I mean, I thought, you know, Noel was going to average the close to 20 game. He had 16 in the second half. And then we've done a re we did a really good, nice job on Kyle. I mean, we, we, we knew where he was at, but uh, um, obviously, when you have, you get 16 points out of Curry, and Mason has 12. I mean, wasn't good enough to win. Now, how frustrating was it that you got off to a good roll and then, like a second straight game, that foul trouble made you sit? Really frustrating. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not out there able to help my team in any way possible, and uh, you know, I just try to fight through it and just, you know, help them any way I can. And talk on the bench when I was sitting with foul trouble. Really you feel like they kind of threw you off your rhythm a little bit? No, uh, I'm going to say that because that would be using an excuse. You know, we, we just didn't execute defensively and offensively. you think you got the same opportunities in the second half that you had there in the first half? Um, it's hard to say. All I know is uh, we didn't come out with the, with the victory, and, you know, that's, that's what's really frustrating to me. Reggie, they're so long when they clap so many guys at you at times. How tough was it for you just to get touches? Um, Duke did a great job on um, surrounding me tonight. Um, they did. Um, they, they had a good job in front of me, um, backside and um, in front of me. So, but they did a good job there. Five games left now in the ACC, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just where do you guys go from here? Obviously, still have life. Oh well, yeah, it's, it's, uh, as long as you got games on your schedule, you got opportunities. I mean, uh, I mean, we got you know play tomorrow. Go play UNCG on Tuesday. Uh, big game in terms of this tough game because you play a, a non-league game right in the middle of the uh, league play, but <coughs> we get a chance to play in the Greensboro Coliseum, which is where the ACC tournament is, and that's a, something we got to get our guys understanding how important this is, this game is for us. And then we got come back here at home against Clemson, a uh, team in the upper division. So we got plenty of opportunities to get ourselves where we want to be. Yeah, yeah, you know, we they play basically everybody in our league. That's probably the biggest reason, but obviously we couldn't fit in other than here and there. Anything else?